Hey guys, uh, Zachary Ohm from Marksman Motion Pictures here, and I'm coming to you today with the first in a series of tutorials on Blender called Blender Basics. Now, as the name might imply, this series is all about the basic tools and concepts of Blender, alright? So, in this first one, the absolute basic tools of Blender is for the utmost beginners, like say you just got Blender today and you want to start learning a little more about it, alright? So that's who this tutorial is intended for, alright? So, when you open up Blender, you have this. And this is generally called the default cube. Now, it doesn't look like a cube right now. It just looks like a square. But that's because you're only looking at the top of it. Now, to change your view of it, to change the angle at which you're viewing the default cube, you can hold down Alt on your keyboard, or if you're on a Mac, Option, and you can drag your mouse around. <coughs> and this changes the angle that you're viewing the cube with. <coughs> Alright? So, that is one of the most important things you'll learn for Blender. Because all the time you're looking at different angles of your objects, trying to figure out what should go where, and such and such. Now to change, as you can see right now, I'm kind of rotating around this point right here. Like the camera is centered. To change that, like say I had an object over here, but I couldn't see it because I'm too far zoomed in, I can use, I can hold down Alt and Shift, and then drag my cursor, and I can drag the um, center point, the, um, the, the fo focal point, the, alright, so now it looks like I'm probably viewing right there. I think that's probably the center of what I'm looking at, right? <clears throat> Rather than over here. Alright, so I'm just going to move it back over here. Um, and the second, uh, and the next thing you need to know is that uh, down here, you can click view, and you can see a lot of different perspectives. You can click side. You can go camera. Which, by the way is this thing right here this is the camera alright so I'm gonna view camera and I see what the camera sees now the only reason this is important is because when you make an animation like I'm going to show you in how to do in the next tutorial this is what the animation will see it will see what's inside of this box so it'll be important to know what the camera can see and what it can't alright now the last few tools I'm going to show you in this are the rotate, scale, and grab tools. Now to rotate your cube, you can simply press R on your keyboard. And then when you move your mouse, the cube rotates with it. To scale your cube, press S on your keyboard and move your mouse away from the center to scale it. And the grab tool to use this which essentially lets you um, move it around in free space without having to use these fixed axes is you press G on the keyboard and now it'll move with your mouse and those are the few things that you need to know for now and I guess I'll see you in the next tutorial alright thanks